episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with the banger video for you guys. As you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail and the fact that we just entered a tunnel. are just like yeah you're getting thrown back every time but they're so like crispy i guess you could say that it's like it doesn't feel that bad i don't i don't know how to explain it but the shifts in sport mode are way more aggressive for sure and another thing that i do want to mention after doing that pool you guys know um even when i had gully in the car and we did the passenger seat pov if you haven't seen that video, make sure you guys go tap in. It'll be tagged to the end of this video. Um, but when we did that video, and even in the drag strip video, ever since I've been retuned um, and I've been doing pulls, it feels like the rear end of the car is just like swaying back and forth on those Mickey Thompsons. Um, and I never really like understood why, I guess you could say. Um, somebody told me on TikTok, hey man, definitely look into getting an alignment. Um, the alignment should fix that. But then again, I did see a couple other YouTubers who like, you know what I'm saying, I had some high horsepower cars doing pulls in their cars and they were mentioning how it's just like skating back and back. So it's like, I'm gonna try doing the alignment and see what happens. Granted, I never did an alignment putting the drag pack on the car. This car is literally aligned with the stock 1LE wheels on it. So that's a 20 inch wheel by, I wanna say 11 in the rear and then 10 in the front. So it's like, yeah, I definitely should get that alignment going from a 20 to an 18 by, I think it's like 18 by 10 in the rear. So the alignment for sure could be playing a role in why this car is driving like this, um, swaying under load and shit like that. But as far as, you know, health wise of the motor and how it feels pulling, man, this car is strong as hell top end feels crazy like i'm still getting used to the car as you guys know like i really don't drive my car like that i'm usually in the daily for the daily so this car literally just sits in the garage that's why it still has the drag pack on it from when i went to the track and and why i don't really drive it on street tires is because it doesn't hook so you know at the end of the day i'm still getting used to it i'm still getting seat time with the car I'm still learning the car man honestly like the car hits like 120 123 and it's like it has a whole different like power band that 
I've never experienced in this car before. It's almost as if I had like a Holly or something and I really don't. Y'all know, ported LT2 and ported LT1 throttle body, that's it. So I don't, I don't really know like this joint here, that boy RK know what he doing because legitimately once this joint hits like 120, 115, it's like the front end lifts up and it just keeps pulling a thousand times harder than it already was. But anyway, I was supposed to be doing this video as kind of like a review because as you guys seen on the dash, we are at 41,000 miles. That's right. The car now has over 40,000 miles on it. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my 2021 Camaro SS 1LE. I bought this car with 10,000 miles on it. It is a 10 speed automatic as you guys can see. Um, and right now we just hit 41,000 miles. Um, so this is gonna be my 40,000 mile review. Honestly, bro, what you should expect maintenance wise, what you should expect modification wise, and what you should expect tuner wise, man. Like, so if you got a six gen, you know what I'm saying? Or you're looking to get a six gen, looking to get into a six gen, and you need just a little bit of insight on what it's like owning one, this is the video for you, bro. Honestly, honestly speaking, honestly, honestly speaking, knock on carbon fiber knocking hard as hell <laughs> um, but this motor has not given me any issues um, the newer GM cars even specifically the V8s they all have this 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 valve dropping issue or these lifter issues it's one of the two like that ass I've seen bone stock cars you feel me? Bone stock cars are like 5K miles on them, even 500 miles on them, and they're dropping valves or they're having a failed lifter. You know what I'm saying? And the motor's gone. Like legitimately, 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 that is something that you want to look out for, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, in my experience, from what I see, it's kind of just hit or miss, bro. The next day. Yep. All right, you guys. So as y'all can see, we are at the crib right now. We're not in the car. Um, so this half of the video is obviously going to be taking place outside of the car. Um, I did not finish that video. Um, so where I left off was basically just telling you guys things that I've seen throughout the ownership of my car, so that you can be, you know, alerted on what to expect whenever you get yours. So basically, man, honestly, the biggest issue to worry about with the 6th Gen Camaro is going to be that valve dropping issue that I told you guys about earlier. That is the most common thing that will take these cars out. The LT1 motor, I don't know what's going on with Chevy and their build quality, but it just wasn't the best with this engine. And like I said in the beginning of this video, it's definitely hit or miss. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might get lucky like myself and not have an issue with your motor. And sometimes, you know, you might be unlucky like a friend of mine and have your valve drop at 500 miles literally um so with that being said bro the car has honestly been great um i've been dealing with you know finding a legitimate tuner i feel as though i have done that already um i'll get into details about that in a separate video um, but that's also something that's very difficult with these cars, man. A lot of people say that they can tune these cars, that they're used to tuning these cars, and whoop de whoop -dee whoop But at the end of the day, bro, I hate to say it, but numbers do lie in a way. Um, and like I said, I'll get into that within a different video. Um, but just know, man, you know, when it comes to tuning these cars, it's a lot more difficult difficult than tuning a LS car like a fifth gen when it comes to tuning a sixth gen bro there's a lot of platforms a lot of parameters that you have to be able to really be entwined with to get the car to run healthy and successfully and actually